caught Kendall so long, and how, how early did you know he was on his game? I mean, from the time I started warming up on the bullpen. And Kendall's are always consistent. You know what you're going to get from him every day. And, you know, it's not like his stuff is any, any better than any other day. He just he just executed, you know, all of his pitches and did a great job. You said he had to work a little harder than maybe he did last week. Well, I wasn't there last week. <laughs> so. But that's what he said. He said he had to change up going for him more yesterday or last week than he did this week. So he had to work a little bit harder for it. Um, and I, I thought he really did a good job of battling. A lot of games in SEC. The two-run lead early, you like it, but you don't figure it's not going to hold up and not comfortable. With Kendall, you're comfortable. You can't say quite say you're comfortable, but I, I know what you're saying. Uh, you know, he gives you a, an ease of mind that you know he's going to go out there and he's going to you know keep keep the runs down. He's not going to go you know some, not, someone's not going to blow him up. How big was that though to get runs on the board early? Because Adam just said that they felt like they laid down after they got down two nothing. Ex exactly. Uh, you know that, that's the way it seemed. You know, you, we went out there and scored two runs in the first, and they they just didn't even have great at bats the rest of the day, and they, they didn't feel like they wanted to be there, and they just didn't really compete very hard. How big a relief just to get the first series victory? Now you got a chance to get back to 500 in SEC play tomorrow. It's a it's a big boost of confidence, especially you know. I mean, it's always still early. Uh, but you get back to 500 like that, you know, then you start talking again about, you know, winning an SEC and, you know, getting back on things. How, it was badly, a, did, uh, how badly did Kendall want to finish that game? I know he had a couple of visits. He, he, he wanted it. Uh, there's, you know, there's nobody else on that on this field that wanted that ball more than him. Your first two games back, how do you feel after missing those for the throat? I feel, the injury? I feel, I feel fine, you know, just like I feel actually more rested than what I did, what I would if I wouldn't have had because I was out for a week. Laid up in a laid up in a bed, so. Uh, you know, with all with what Emirani's been able to do, you know, after what you did last year, you must feel like you're on some vacation. Absolutely, it feels it feels much better, more relaxed. You know, when you got two guys that can go out there and contribute, and you know, you know, help you get a win like that. What? How's it's been weird how it's worked out, but how's the Luis Kendall one-two combination just been absolutely dominant? I mean, it just seems like that's kind of worked it out for you well. I mean, it seems to have worked out pretty well. Um, and, you know, you can't argue with it when it's working. Obviously, they didn't get the win last Friday, but you know, Poyo is going to go out there. He's going to give you a chance to win no matter what, and that's all you can ask for. You know, he's not your typical Friday night electric stuff, but you know, that's all you ask for is a chance to win every every day, every night out. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch.